Hey there guys and gals, this is Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com and thank you so much for watching my video. This is a continuation of a playlist that I've created uh, inside my channel uh, for Builderall and the uh, learning email marketing and how to use Mailing Boss and how to start you know, building your list uh, through the uh, Mailing Boss inside of Builderall, okay? So in this video, we're just going to go and I'm going to teach you how to create a new subscriber list inside of Mailing Boss, which is really simple to do. So if you want to learn how to do that, then keep on watching. Again, thank you so much for watching my video. This is Barbie Figueroa with Rise Marketing and Design. I truly appreciate that you're here. Please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. And make sure to check out the entire playlist as this playlist is like your one-stop shop for putting a uh, email marketing uh, campaign together. So let's hop right into it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and log into our back office. And then we want to go ahead and we want to access Mailing Boss Autoresponder right from the dashboard. So as you can see, I already have a few lists. If you want to see the list view of lists, just click on lists. Here is the visual view. Here is the visual view. And here is the list view. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to create a new list. Now you can do it right here from the list version, or we can just go back to Mailing Boss, and we can do it right from here, okay? Just basically go anywhere where <laughs> there's a little plus sign to add a new list, or you can create a new subscriber list right from your dashboard, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and create a test list, and I'm going to say display name, um, build raw, tools, prospects, and then we'll just write a brief description. This list is for leads that are interested in the builder all tools. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and click continue. Okay, so we're just going to recap what we're building here, which is a test list. Builder all tool prospects. This lead is for interested uh, leads that are interested in the BA tools. And now right here we're going to go to we're going to you're going to see this. It's going to say double opt in and double opt out. Now because of the new laws that are going into effect with the GDPR with the European Union, we need to have double opt ins. Okay, um, there really is. I really believe that the email service providers all across the board they're going to have to phase out single opt ins. Uh, because of all these, you know, breaches of privacy, etc. I talked a little bit more about this in the in one of the videos on this playlist. So again, make sure to watch all the videos in this playlist so that you get a full uh, vision, a full a uh, picture of uh, what we're doing here on this playlist. Okay. So you will need to set to double opt-in because it's the only option that you have. Now you can do single opt-out, which means that let's say someone wants to unsubscribe from your list, they can literally just unsubscribe and they're done. A double opt-out will make them jump through a few hoops before they can opt out. So hey, you want to go? You can be f feel free to go. So I'll just do the single opt-out. So click next. Okay. So now the form for this list has successfully been saved. Okay, so now what we're going to do is it's going to, it, what I like about Builder is it's kind of like walking you through it like a little wizard, all right? I really like that. So um, we're just going to go through this process. It's going to take you from building the list to kind of like creating your master uh web form okay and then it's going to take you on to creating the first email uh, in your campaign and I really love that because it is step by step by step okay so we want to have a first name field okay do not worry about a last name field uh, basically we just want a the email field obviously to capture their information and I like the first name field because if I want to uh, you know be more personalized in my emails that I send out I like to refer to them uh, with uh, you know by their first name when possible okay 
So you do have the option to create more text fields, but we're not going to do that at this time. So we're just going to go ahead and click on Save Changes. Now, in, uh, I'm going to teach you how to go back and change the order because, unfortunately, uh, it automatically defaults to putting the email field first and then the first name field second. So we're going to change the order in just a minute. So let's just go ahead and click Save Changes. Okay, so now you'll see here we want to go ahead and change the fields, okay? And you'll you'll uh, know what I mean by that in just a minute, okay? But notice how how super quickly uh, it's already asking you to go ahead and uh, you know uh, put your um, you know your confirm email, okay? Uh, so that's really cool. So you want to do that because what's going to happen is is that they're going to receive an email from Buildraw saying to confirm their subscription. So this is the email that your subscriber, since we're doing double opt-in, this is the first email they're going to receive and they will not receive any follow-up emails from you until they accept the confirm on this email, okay? So we wanna go ahead and just personalize it. So you can go ahead and personalize it, uh, subscribe, confirm email, or let's say, uh, let me go ahead and put this arrow out here. We can put, um, you know, uh, uh, let me see, um, required response, please confirm your subscription. Or I'll put email subscription, email subscription. Okay, now, this is really important because that's the first me message that they're going to receive from you. So if they don't confirm, they will no longer receive emails from you. So it's very important that on your thank you page in your funnel that you remind them, hey, by the way, I sent you a confirmation email back to your uh, inside of your email box. Please go ahead and make sure you confirm that email if you want to stay up to date and continue receiving emails from me in the future, etc. Okay, so you want to make sure that you let them know that. All right, so then you can just go ahead and you know edit this however you want and uh, save and next. Okay, now we're going to go back and change these fields in a second, but let's go ahead and just save and next so we can follow the flow of the wizard. Okay. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and click Save and Next because it's going to let them know, hey, you need to go ahead and uh, uh, confirm your subscription. And then these are just little emails that they're allowing you to edit. Okay, so the first one was to subscribe to the email and this is to unsubscribe from your list. So they're walking you step by step, which I really love that because um, other email providers don't walk you through a wizard like this. All right, so this is taking you step by step by step. So save and next, okay? Okay, so this is, once they confirm their email, they're going to receive a quick little email that says, hey, welcome, okay? So you can go ahead and edit this, but for now we're just gonna go ahead and click save and next, okay? So that is it. We have officially created an email list. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you how to change the order of the collection fields. So you're going to click on fields. Okay. So now you'll see it says email zero and it says first name zero. Okay. What we want on our opt in form. All right. Let me show you what I mean. So this is a funnel that I built inside Builderall, okay? And when you click on here, all right, you're gonna get a pop-up. See how it says first name and then email? Well, uh, Mailing Boss defaults to putting the email first and then the first name, okay? Um, and I don't know if uh, in other countries, maybe they do it that way, but for me, I'm used to doing <laughs> first name and email. And how about that cool little social proof pop-up right here on my, uh, um, lead capture page. I really love that feature and uh, actually I did a video about that, uh, how to install the social proof. So I will go ahead and I will link that below in the description box in case you want to see how that works. Okay. So all right. So what we want to do is we want to change the sort order here. So let's go back to mailing boss and we're just going to put the first name to zero and the uh, email to one. And we're going to click save. 
And now when you go ahead and create a form, it'll automatically do that correctly. Okay. So that is it. You have created your list. Let's go ahead and make sure that it's here. And here we have our test list. Okay. And if we go back to mailing boss to the very beginning, we will see that our latest list is right here in the visual form. Now you can go ahead and just double click on list and you can see the grid view, the list view, I should say, or you can go ahead and see the visual grid view. And that is it. All right. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying this playlist. And uh, make sure to visit my website at www.risemarketinganddesign.com. And hey, if you want to, if you're not inside of BuildRall yet and you're just watching these videos and you would like to be inside BuildRall uh, partnered with me, I'll have all those links below this video. And my dog is barking, so I will let you go right now. Uh, please go ahead, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on the next video on this playlist.